This question is from Mithun C. Prabhu. He asks, Hare Krishna Guruji, when Krishna says we should not become our enemies, enemy than Arjuna in starting was correct that he does not want to kill others. Or we should not become our enemy's enemies. So because Krishna is saying we should not become the enemy of our enemy. So his question is that then Arjuna in the starting of Bhagavad Gita, he was correct because he does not want to kill others. Can you unmute me? I don't understand the question completely. Okay, Guruji. Hare Krishna, Guruji. <laughs> yeah, so my question was uh, yesterday we were talking about uh, the good qualities of a devotee and we should not, you know, uh, react to somebody, you know, uh, causing harm to others. So in the starting, Arjuna says, I do not want to, you know, kill all these people because basically he, out of compassion, he didn't want to do it. So is, that's also the same quality that Krishna is talking about. Right, Guruji? That is correct, Prabhu. That is correct. But Arjuna, why he said that he didn't want to do that? Because of his material attachment. Because he was not seeing everyone as the soul. He was seeing everyone as their relatives, bodies. He was seeing the body. So he was thinking that Bhishma is his grandfather, Drona is his teacher. So like that. Krishna is teaching the very first... Uh, uh, answer given by Krishna in the 11th sloka that uh, you are uh, speaking like a learned person, but you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Asocha nanva sochastvam pragnya vadam scha basasi. Gatasun agatasum scha nanu sochanti pandida. Your pandida neither laments neither for the living nor for the dead. So, what Krishna told Arjuna that you are not seeing everyone as the soul. You are seeing everyone as the body, so bodily relations. So that's where we are also making that mistake always in our life, every day, in every activity. So we are seeing everywhere only as bodies. We are not seeing the souls. So that, that is because we don't have the knowledge. We don't. We are not able to uh, see everyone as the soul. So that's where the problem lies. Bro. That's the real problem. That soul consciousness is what very important. We need to see everyone as the soul. So if you are not able to see everyone as the soul, so that means Arjuna was... He was compassion, but it was uh, it was Arjuna Krishna told that it's midya chara. It's uh, it's only you are pretending, so it's not the real thing. Because uh, as a kshatriya, your dharma is to fight uh, for the sake of righteousness. You need to dharma di yuddha cheyo ni the kshatriya se na vidyate. So that's what the kshatriya should do. So <clears throat> so that's what uh, Krishna is 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 saying. So. That way you are you are a you are a kshatriya, you need to you need to fight. So so Swadharma Pichavaksha Navik Kampitu Margasi Dharmyaj Yudha Chreyonya the Kshatriya se Navitya. So that's what Krishna is teaching. So <clears throat> so that way uh, we need to act with the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. That's what is very important. So here this compassion, whatever Arjuna had, it is not he was ready to kill others. He was not only ready to kill his Bhishma and and Drona, he was, uh, it was okay for him to kill his enemies. So, but he was seeing Bhishma and Drona, Katam Bhishma, Maram Sanke, Dronam Chamadu Sudhana, Isu Bhigi Pratiyot Sami, Pujagavari Sudhana. That's what he was telling. <clears throat> so, first thing is that uh, when Arjuna told all these things, he did not even consider what Krishna is asking. See, at the end, after understanding the entire Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna realized, Arjuna understood that he needs to please Krishna only. That's what he should do. He should not be thinking about anything else. Whatever Krishna wants, he should do. That's it. So Krishna wants him to fight and Arjuna fought at the end. So at that time, Arjuna didn't think about all these things. So, so the correct thing what we need to do is that we need to do what Krishna is asking us to. So Krishna in Bhagavad Gita is asking us. Krishna in Bhagavad Gita is teaching us what we should do, what we should not do. Everything very, very clearly Krishna is instructing. We need to get the list of all such actions what we need to do so we just have to do. That's it. So then we are pleasing Krishna. You understand that point? <coughs> yes, Guruji. So in this uh, case scenario, uh, Arjuna was a Kshatriya, so he has to fight. But in our real world, in our uh, real world scenario, if somebody is trying to harm us, somebody is trying to undermine us, you know, somebody is trying to deceive us, 
should we just just let it go and understand that you know we should not react to it or should we how should we deal with it we have to just do like what we discussed yesterday prabhu we need to keep ourselves very much occupied in spreading this message bhagavad gita so then all other things krishna will direct us to that way we will be in direct contact with krishna that mean that way we will ourselves understand bhagavad gita very well we will know also bhagavad gita very well so in whatever the situations right now as you just ask the question you will be able to consult this bhagavad gita and then act accordingly so krishna is saying that tasmat shastram pramanam te karya akarya vivasthito so whatever you do or you don't do you have to consult this bhagavad gita based on this bhagavad gita knowledge you need to do so for this question whatever you ask depending upon the situation um, because it's whatever you said is just a generalized uh, situation correct depending upon yes. the particular situation so what is right or wrong you will be krishna will reveal to you like arjuna krishna reveal to arjuna correct the same thing krishna will reveal to us also if we just depend on krishna if we just teach bhagavad gita keep ourselves very occupied and busy in spreading this message and that way we will be able to serve krishna then krishna will be guiding us from okay guru ji understood yes sir hari krishna guru ji thank you thank you guru ji hari krishna <coughs>